Hi, so welcome to this. This is like a follow-up video to a video that I did a week or so ago unboxing the two player expansions for Star Trek Ascendancy, the Ferengi one and the Cardassian one. Um, some of the feedback that I received, people were asking about the specific models. Um, I didn't really show them off very much in my video, so I thought I'd do a quick video now just to show you the models in both the Ferengi and the Cardassian one to kind of put your mind at rest about the fact that they kind of look similar colours. Uh, they're really not. And also you can see that the design of them. There's also one other thing that I do want to address, which is about the components. Um, and they're comparing, comparing the components to the ones that you get in the base box, but we'll explain those in a minute. So, right, first of all, we get the Ferengi components out. So we have here, if I can just adjust the light. Okay, so that is the Ferengi control node. And if I just can bring this along here, here is the Cardassian control node. So, yeah. You can see that they are both quite distinct. The Ferengi is quite a dark brown and the Cardassian is quite a light brown colour. Um, bring in the Ferengi ship. That That is your standard Ferengi ship. And there is the Cardassian equivalent. Again, very distinct, very easy to tell. them apart from each other on the board. Yeah. And bring these into the background. And then finally, we've got the fleet markers, where you have the Ferengi fleet markers and the Cardassian fleet marker. Um, now, yeah, these, I mean, I've painted these in a kind of a haphazard way just to make the numbers on them stand out a bit more. Uh, it, it just makes it a bit easier to identify the fleets because they are quite difficult to tell. And I just went for white paint for the Ferengi one and the black paint for the Cardassian one just because of the darker and lighter browns. But again, as you can see, very easy to tell them apart. Nothing, no problem. Now, the one thing that I did want to mention is the components that you get in the expansions. Now, here are two discs. Now, looking at them, you might think that they look kind of the same. You can notice immediately that this one is a slightly kind of purpley color as opposed to this one, which is a blue. That's because this is from one of the expansions. This one is from the base box. So they are kind of similar. Um, they're kind of different in color. The one thing that really does show up, though, is as you can see, the expansion ones have a very shiny texture to them. They're very, very shiny. Whereas the ones in the expansion, and again, it's probably not showing up very well in the video, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, you can sort of see the difference. as the You can sort of see the reflection changing significantly as you move from one to the other. This does mean that when you have a stack of these all in one, it's very easy to tell which comes from the expansions and which comes from the base box. It does pretty much mean that you're always going to know whether you're going to be picking one. I don't really think that matters that much, but it might annoy some people. And that goes for all of the other components, but again, they don't really matter. You know, it doesn't matter whether you, you know, your warp tokens or your ascendancy tokens or whatever come from if they're shiny or not who cares but that, that's just one thing i just thought was worth pointing out that there is a slight difference in the uh two different discs but again as far as the ships are concerned there's no real concerns there at all they're fine and that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon